I'm Boomer Esiason for SI.com, and with football right around the corner, it's time to take a look at the 2014 NFL preseason top five. Number one, the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah, they've taken a hit, and yeah, they've had to pay some players, but you know what? They have a great defense. They're one of the fastest teams in the NFL, and just imagine what a full season of Percy Harvin's going to do for Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson struggled a little bit last year during the regular season, upped this game a little bit more in the playoffs and, of course, the Super Bowl. But it's been this defense, their speed, and with the addition of a healthy Percy Harvin for 16 games, they'll still be dangerous and impossible to beat in their home stadium. Number two, San Francisco. Still a rough and tumble team. I love their quarterback, Colin Kaepernick, signed a team-friendly deal, which will allow them some flexibility to keep the parts around him. Their defense will still be one of the top two defenses in football, and Colin Kaepernick will continue to make plays. He is probably the most gifted playmaker in the NFL at the quarterback position, meaning that he can run, he can throw, and he's not intimidated. Look for them to have yet another great year, and I wouldn't be surprised if they overtook the Seattle Seahawks in their own division. Number three has to be the Denver Broncos. John Elway basically put all the chips in the middle of the table, signed three big free agents on defense, also adds Emmanuel Sanders to replace Eric Decker. They are loaded on offense. And of course, Peyton Manning, who is coming off the greatest single season in NFL history for a quarterback, will continue to do that. I don't necessarily know that he'll throw 55 touchdowns, but I can't see him throwing less than 40. This team is still going to be a team that's going to be up-tempo. It's going to be very difficult to deal with during the body of the regular season. And as long as Peyton stays healthy, they will be in the AFC Championship game. Number four has to be the New England Patriots. No quarterback has dealt with less and delivered more than Tom Brady. Now, all of a sudden, it looks to me like with a healthy Gronkowski, a healthy offensive line, a stable of running backs, Tom Brady could have one of those great single seasons again, over 50 touchdown passes. Their defense will be better with the addition of Browner and Revis, and they will be a top team in the AFC. And then the fifth best team in the NFL, I believe, believe it or not, is the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals also out of the NFC West mean that they'll probably have to go on the road for the playoffs. But look how they finished last season. Look what their defense did. Look how good Carson Palmer started to play. This is a team that has a lot of really good, solid young players, maybe the best secondary in all of football, a defensive line they can get after you. The problem for them is that they are in what I believe the toughest division in the NFL is, and that's the NFC West, because you know St. Louis is going to be vastly improved with a healthy Sam Bradford. So there are your top five. It's Seattle, San Francisco, Denver, New England, and Arizona of all teams. I'm Boomer Science.